we're going to look at different representations of algebraic expressions. We start with it in words. So we start by saying let's multiply a number by 3 and we'll represent that as saying we're going to take the number, feed it into the machine that multiplies by 3. Then we're going to add 8 to the answer, so we need to add on the other machine which adds on 8. Now let's use a number as an example to see how this would work. So if we start with 2 and we feed it through the machine that multiplies by 3, we'll get out 6. Then we take that 6 and feed it through the machine that adds 8 and we'll come out with the answer of 14. Now we're going to do that same thing, but now we're going to use x to stand for any number. So we start with x and we feed it through the machine that multiplies by 3 and we get out 3x. Then we take that 3x and we feed it through the machine that adds 8 and we'll end up with 3x plus 8. So what we see is that 3x plus 8 is the algebraic expression that represents the instruction multiply a number by 3 and then add 8 to the answer. Let's try just reversing those two statements. So let's start this time by adding 8 to the number and then multiplying the answer by 3. So that would be the flow diagram that represents that statement. Let's again show what will happen with a number. So we take 2 and we add 8 to it and out will come 10. Then we take that 10 and we multiply it by 3 and out will come 30. Now let's go and use x so we get an algebraic expression. So we take x which can stand for any number and we say first of all we need to add 8 to it. So what will come out is x plus 8. Now we need to take that whole x plus 8, so I'm going to put it in brackets, and multiply it by 3. And out will come 3 lots of x plus 8. So 3 brackets x plus h, 8 is the algebraic expression that represents the statement add 8 to a number and then multiply the answer by 3.